What's going on guys? Chantilly. I guess it's technically day two. We didn't really film on Friday. We posted some reels and stuff on Instagram. We'll post some shorts on YouTube. So if you didn't really get much of the day one, that's because there's no athletes or no backroom to capture. It wasn't really anyone back there to interview or whatnot. A lot of interviews to get done to today. Anthony Richardson, Jameer Gibbs, CJ Stroud, just to name a few. Jameer Gibbs as a Lions fan, that'd be pretty dope. Looking forward to it. So we're going to head to the show and uh, see you later. Got a lot of Lions stuff. Hendon Hooker, uh, Jameer Gibbs, both Lions will be signing. They got basketball people to sign. T. Higgins, McCoy's going to be here. A lot of people. This is going to be good. Frank the Tank, his first ever Chantilly show appearance. Frank, how's it feel? It was amazing. It's great to meet a lot of people that I've talked to over the years and make new relationships and uh, just have a good time and enjoy the weekend, you know? And you got Justin over here, as usual, always, always in Chantilly. Chantilly made stay. Justin was feeling the love yesterday. First thing that happened. Kid came up to him and goes, Yo, are you AO cards? Because I watch your reels, man. Was, he was like, How'd that feel, Justin? How'd that feel? Oh, man, it started to feel like Ty Santiago. It's a great time over here, man. <laughs> We've been telling cool. Frankie to get on the real wave, but he's just, I got he's, my own thing he's more up. of a story guy. He's more of like a post to post and delete it like two hours later kind of guy. But, what you know. Score. I'm gonna try the water. Up to you, man. Up to me. Tell me where you'll be at. Right? You know, they're at, I, I don't know off the top of my head. Picked up these monsters, fucking Herbert, Optic 9, and Jalen Waddle, PSA 10 Blue. If you guys want to see more content like this and me cooking up absolute fucking monsters like these, drop a comment and let me know because I pick this shit up all the time and I feel like people really want to see this. So, it's monsters. Let's fucking go. What you got? Couple pickups Adams, Zebra, Marty Bordeaux. This is for a friend of mine, Jeff Hardy, Larry Bird. Joe Thomas. Can't go wrong. Chantilly, baby. No pitch. Motown Prince, PC, and then De'Aaron Fox. Midday vibe check. We got a Paul Bear right here. Why do I have a Paul Bear? Because Undertaker's here. And I'm going to give this to him. I told Fitterman, good old Ryan Fitterman, shout out. Great guy in the autograph industry. Uh, he bought a card in the live sale and I had this and was like, you know what? At eighty dollars, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna give it to the Undertaker." Undertaker, he gave us so many memories and years of his life, and it's a fucking goat right there. So we got to get back to the Taker. You just you seem to amaze me every time, Tyler. I don't know how you do it. Stickers you think you signed over the years? A shit ton? I don't know. <laughs> I did a lot of these when I first got in the league. Uh, how do you like doing these shows and everything? I love the show. What fans are better? Obviously, we're in DMV area, but play for the Jets. I'm from Jersey, so what fans are a little more passionate, you think? Well, Jets fans are passionate, but yeah. these fans up here ride or die, man. Yeah, now you're right. You know, I, I've been here since 05, no matter where I go. Are you still about here? Yeah, the people show up, man, you know? Yeah. But the commander's not so bad, you know? How you feel about them this year? I think we got a good chance, man. In that division, I think, 100%. I, mean, I don't think Philly got much better. Uh, you know, Philly good, man. That They're fucking, good, that but... That defensive front, bro, oh, hell no. Nah. They lost a couple big pieces on defense, No, so. they gained a couple big pieces. They did, they did. Yeah, me, they didn't get better. And they got a running back. They got damn Swift. I love. Oh, I'm a Detroit on. fan. I love Swift. Come on, man, brother. I'll take Gibbs up. That, those two receivers alone, man, are a problem. AJ, Devonta, with Swift, and a healthy with Goddard. With the defensive front they got, with the secondary they got, both of those two damn dudes that come. Shoot. Really got something, man. I'm, I think just it's, mad. I'm just mad they lost the Super Bowl last year because yeah. I really was rooting for them to win it. You know. I think. 
probably, I think they still got a good chance this year. They're probably what, first or second favorite to, to get to the championship? They're at least first in the division for sure. Yeah. I mean, I ain't going back and forth with you. I man say no, 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 I, I feel you, I feel you. I'm a Lions fan, so trust me, I got no no pull on either one of them. That's cool. You can't count off the man up. You I like them. Always competitive. Whether the record shows it or not, it's always a tough game. You blew it. You got something to do. How do you feel about Howell? He's a man. Little update, 120 Saturday. I uh, got a couple of little interviews, nothing crazy yet. Probably not getting Richardson. Said what's up to Hendon Hooker. But uh, LaShawn McCoy, we're going to get him. Erlock was really cool. We're going to go back to the table, see how Justin and Frank are doing. So let's go check it out. Frankie bought this lot. I'm going to guess how much he paid for it. And then we'll see what he actually paid for it. Five bucks. He sucks. Uh, um, hopefully you didn't pay more than like 40 or 50 bucks. Pay 50. Not bad, not bad. Should make about 70, 70, 80 bucks off this. Good job, friend. How far is that for you? How much is the judge going to say it's like 20 It's like an hour. Oh, 1100. How much is the judge going to These are 1100. They sold a red wave for like 200. So, a couple cheap one. ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, Harris, the 199, and then yeah, Otani, the PSA 10 rated rookie. Something. Massive yeah, fucking pickups, guys. We're just picking up the monster. All right, so we just picked up this 1910 Mecca cigarettes, T218 Sam Longford. SGC5. We got the vintage expert, the youngest vintage expert in the world, otherwise known as Cool Cards 28. So we're going to see what he thinks on this deal. Sorry. PSA 40 160. <laughs> We just got cool cards approved. So we're at the uh, Chantilly CSA card show. Jameer Gibbs, fresh uh, number 12 overall pick from the Lions. So Jameer, being in Detroit, uh, you got that video of Fanatics, Barry Sanders, um, Megatron, and uh, meeting Dan Campbell. Last ball, How's it been so far? Smooth so far. We ain't done too much. 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 Practice. It's been cool. What's your first impression of Detroit? It's a lot. That winter is going to hit you hard. Yeah, I'm all right. Maybe all right, though. But uh, other than that, what are you most excited for this season with the Lions? <laughs> last question for you. Nothing to do with football. Top three favorite actors that get you pumped up. Our game. Why be okay? Who's here? Love that. Baby. Baby. Baby's my number one. You like the new gunner? Yeah. It's alright. I appreciate it. Good luck. That's basically your job now. So I gotta ask you, the craziest sports tape you ever heard come your way? Like some shit that you were just like, I can't, I can't take this. Just something crazy. All right, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a player perspective. All right. So I heard that um, J.K. Dobbins, running back. J.K. Dobbins, okay. Dobbins, I'm sorry, running back for the Ravens. I think he's a hell of a player. Okay. Up and down, been banged up. Yeah. When I see he asked for a, 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 a contract, like I'm sitting out, taking my money. I'm like, whoa. He ain't even play. I thought it was a joke. So I've seen that. Like, oh, he's serious. So I didn't that was that. a funny one. I ain't over that. All right. And another one was um. J.K. Dobbins ain't like that yet. No, 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 no. He's a good player, but he's, he's been good. hurt. He's, yeah, I gotta, exactly. You can't just get paid. Yeah. You ain't been. Um, now I think he bought this year. He get a big deal next year. It's already four years. Yeah. And, and I, I got one. Uh, let, me, let me think. Um, you can't think of that. Yeah, let me come back to that one. Let me come back to that one. Can't think of that. Two weeks time. This one might have you thinking too. What's one sports take that you truly believe in that you'll take to the grave? You don't care what anyone else thinks. Oh, that um, that Bill Belichick. 
is the most overrated, hyped up head coach we've ever seen. Why is that? Because when Brady, you're not playing with Brady, he's not under, he's not under center. You're barely a 500 winning coach. Fair enough. These are not what Sean McCoy says. These are just stats. Yeah, that's stats right And then soon Brady leaves. He gets a championship. He goes to playoffs every year. The Bucks championship first year. Yeah. Patriots only had one playoffs appearance. And, and that playoff appearance, not, not only did they not win, they got blocked by 28, 30 smacked. points. Yeah. And a divisional game. Mm -hmm. Team that you see every year, twice a year. Uh, now so, you're right. You're so right. I think he's a I think he's a good coach. I just think he's overrated because they make it like he's the greatest of all the time. It's like how? Once one player left, you can just compare it to a guy like Andy Reid. No matter who's on the center, they're gonna win games. Now, yeah, granted, you, you get a guy like Patrick Holmes, you're gonna win championships. But he's always gonna have a winning team. He's a good coach. All right, last question. Who's the biggest sleeper as a player this year and the biggest team that people are sleeping on? I think I got two players. I got one is um, DeAndre uh, Swift. Okay. I'm a Detroit fan, so I love Swift. Yo, top five type talent. You hear what I'm saying? He, he, hasn't, he hasn't been um, as consistent like on the field, with injuries and other stuff like that. Yep. But if he plays in the games this year, he's going to have a top three running back grade and running back performances. He's lights out. Fast, yeah. quick, strong, elusive, powerful. Can catch what you need. Remember, he got yeah, all that. He can do all of it. You put him on that field and he's not hurt, he's going to be top three. The dude. only thing of seeing him three or four years in Detroit, though, sometimes he makes the wrong cut. That's the only thing about his game. Well, I mean, that's, that's running backs. I was, I'm a cutter, man. I don't think I, I got good eyes, but I made the wrong yeah. cuts. So that, that part, that's part of the game. But he had top five top three type talent running back. I think this year we'll have a breakout year. And then who else? And I'm going to give you um, another one is uh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar? Right. Okay. He's been solid lately, but I think a new coordinator is going to throw the ball. Let's give him a chance to, to ball out. New weapons. New weapons. Zay Flowers is here. Zay Flowers is here. You got, you got Odell Beckham back, knee healthy. You know what I'm saying? You got Bateman that's over there on the other Bateman. side. He healthy. Duvernay's all right, too. Top five defense over there. Right. We I think, yeah, so so my thing is, I think Odette or uh, uh, Lamar Jackson, I think that he's going to show up, show out, big year, break out year. Like MVP stuff we've been seeing, we're going to get nice. it again. And then I think the other one is, uh, like I said, Swift. Those are my two picks. Ravens? Most slept on team? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. They're, they're up there every year. Them? Right? I don't think they're not yeah, slept on. Yeah, but they, 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 they do good. They do good, but they don't really, you know. This year, they're going to be, it's going to be different. Yeah, Lamar's got to win a game in the playoffs, so. Yeah, I think sure he doesn't. They got to, they never, they never really, like, play to his game uh, in the playoffs. They will now, though. They got to. Get the weapons. And he just, I mean, think about this. We're in 2023, and, and their offense, they have two tight ends, two H-backs. Like, who does that? Yeah, I'm not, not many people. I'm not even talking about Andrew. I'm not even talking about him. He's a hell of a tight end. I'm he talking is. about 300. Pound fullbacks they got playing in the office. Beast, but like not now. They don't need that no more. Who uses fullbacks? I can name three fullbacks in the NFL. We don't need that. Nah, all nowadays it's about explosion on offense. You know what I mean? Pass the ball. All the all the last three quarter, all last three Super Bowl winning teams have had superstar quarterbacks. We throwing the ball. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is now. The game has changed. So I think now they got a different offense coordinator. I think we should see some. Lamar Jackson, MVP, staff football. Ravens, most slept on team. I disagree, but that's a good take. I like that. He backed it up. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I mean, I, I think we always think they're a good team. Yeah. But, like, can we really say that, okay, they're going to win a Super Bowl? I think this year you can see, okay, they got a chance. Definitely better. It all relies on our Lamar to me, I feel like. Now, Lamar, now, so not running, but I can run if I want to run now. Compared to I got to run, it's okay, yeah. it's the design play. No, nah, if it's there, I'm out. It's got to open up that pass game. So, all right, man. That's good. Yep, yes, thank sir. you. You've been a good dude. Bye, Frankie logged this card. I actually logged it. Right Frankie logged this. Yeah. PSA 10 Joe Burrow, neon green to 49. And we got a couple purple powers. P power. Hurts to 49. Herbert to 49. Pretty good pickups. We'll hold it for the national. I've been looking to pick up something like this to hold on to for a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, Saturday, end of the day. We didn't get a ton of content today, but. We got quality content. LaShawn McCoy, Electric Factory. Um, that was pretty cool. Other than that, I mean, these guys were at the booth all day. Justin made, I don't know how many deals. Too many to count. Too many to even count. Frankie was fucking gobble-gooing them all day. But anyways, good day, solid day. Tomorrow's another day. We'll be uh, make some more deals. Tomorrow we need to buy heavy, so that's the goal. 
other than that, we're gonna have a good night. You know, get some Gayu Kaku, Japanese BBQ, shit's fire. They got that Wagyu A5, love that shit. Send have a help. good night. Send help. Send help, yeah, yeah. Send help. Anyways, drop a like, Sorry. drop a comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Live sales every Monday, breaks every day. See you, See you later. <laughs>